In this video we're going to be working inside of the sidebar and we're going to have it where the user or anyone that's using the dashboard can add things to the sidebar dynamically. So we'll be using these three WordPress functions in this video and we'll be getting into the documentation on that pretty soon. So let's first add a little style to our sidebar. We're not going to spend too much time styling it, but let's just move it off to the right up here in the corner instead of it being down here at the bottom. Now when we're done, done with that, uh, that should only take a second, we'll go into the functions.php file and we'll add this function to register sidebar. And again, we'll get into the documentation on that pretty soon. And then when we're done with that, then we need to tell WordPress where we want our sidebar to show up at. So we'll go into the view and in our case, it's going to be the sidebar.php file and we'll add this dynamic sidebar function, a WordPress function. So let's first go into our CSS file and just add a couple styles and get this sidebar to be off to the right here. So inside of the style sheet, I'm just going to paste a couple styles. And nothing special here. We're just setting a width to the content area of 75% and then also display and line block. And then the sidebar area is going to be set to 24% and then we're going to just have it pull off to the right, float to the right. That's pretty much it. So let's go and paste these classes into our pages with the sidebar so these are the three pages that have sidebars so i'm just going to go up in here and just paste it in the section area uh this class and this is setting the width to 75 percent so let's just save that and go in here do the same thing save that we can close these down and then last but not least, the blog page, and I'm just going to paste that right here and save that. Okay, so now uh, we need to go in and add another class, this one, to our sidebar area. So just copy this one and just jump into the sidebar.php file. That's where our sidebar is and just paste that right here. And just save all your documents and let's go into the browser make sure this is working. So let's go refresh it. So let's click on a page that has a sidebar. I think the blog one. Okay, great. And then the other one was our custom about page has had a sidebar. Okay. And then our sidebar page. All right, great. They're all working. So now let's go start working inside the functions.php file. And if we go to my trusty checklist here. So now what we want to do is register a sidebar inside our function.php file. And we're going to be using this function. And I'll have the uh, links down in the description. So let's go and just check out the reference, online reference here. So we'll be using this function. You could pass arguments in it. And here are all the arguments you could use right here. And right down here, I was checking this out earlier. Um, they have a nice piece of snippet already all set up for us. So we could just copy all this good stuff right here. They got the add action function. They have the widgets in it. That's what we're going to we're gonna have to. This is the hook we're going to have to use. So that's great and then our custom function. So let's just go copy this and just paste this in our functions.php file. So in the function.php file, we'll just paste this code down here at the bottom. And this is pretty similar, like for example, this add action is similar to the other one, but we're just using a different hook name. And I'll show you where we, you could find them uh, in a second. And then this function name, you can make up whatever name you want. I'm just gonna call it like uh, talk widgets or something like that, that'd be good. And then make sure you copy that and replace this. So it's gonna call this function. Okay, great. So now let's go and check out online where we're getting this hook name right here, this widgets in it. So if we go to the browser, and I'll have this link in the description below if you want to go and check out this page. And it's the action reference. And down here are a whole bunch of different hooks you could use. And I highly recommend you, you check it out. You might uh, find a lot of things you could use here. So a really good page. So if we go back to the functions.php. And if we move on to the register sidebar. Now this is the function we wanted to use. I have it on my checklist here. And um, inside of an array, you want to put all the different arguments. Now, these are all the different arguments you could use to really customize your sidebar. But I'm just going to use two for now. And I'm just going to use the ID and the name. Now, this name right here will show up in the dashboard. And I'll show you that in a second. Okay, great. So let's just save that. Now, let's go and create a brand new sidebar inside of our dashboard. So now here in the dashboard, if we go and hover on appearance, we don't get any widgets here. 
but if we refresh it now that we created the uh, register sidebar and if we hover on it now now we get this link widgets so let's add some widgets to our sidebar so I'll click on that all right great and as you notice we got a title here called main sidebar and we're getting that from this page right here or this function if you notice that so if we go back to here so let's go and just add a couple things to our brand new um, sidebar so I'm just gonna add I guess some the archive and you can name it whatever you want okay great and then save that and then we'll just add a few more things it doesn't really matter I guess uh, categories that'd be good and I'll just call this categories okay great so now we have a sidebar so now if we refresh the front end we still will not get it so let's try that and the reason is is we haven't added it to our view or our HTML and if we go pull up my checklist here so now we want to use the dynamic sidebar and I have that in the uh, tabs up here and again I'll have this link down in the description below if you just want to check this out and uh, this we can add into our view to tell WordPress where we want this sidebar to show up at. And I'm just going to go and copy uh, this one right here, some of this code. So this would be fine right here. Copy that and let's go and paste this inside of our view. So I'm going to just pick the sidebar.php and just paste that code right in here. Okay, great. So now we're telling WordPress where we want this sidebar to show up. And we want to change this to the ID of the sidebar that we want. So if we go back to the functions page and just copy this right here. And then just paste that inside of our sidebar. And I'm just going to replace this right here. And this also. Okay, great. And this should work. So let's go refresh our front end and see how this looks. So here on the front end, I'm just going to refresh it. And great, as you can see, our sidebar is kicking in now. And that is how you add a sidebar, a dynamic sidebar to your WordPress theme. So next, we're going to work on the search bar. So I'll see you then.